Okay, so let's work on a few parallel circuits, equivalent resistance problems. All right, so if it's a parallel circuit for equivalent resistance, it doesn't matter what the voltage is there. So the formula for equivalent resistance is 1 over RT or REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. All right, so the way we do this is, let me get a different pen and see if you can see it a little better. We go 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 5.6 kilo ohms would be 5,600 ohms. 1 over 680 plus 1 over 8,200 ohms. Right, so 1 over RT, now I can plug that in my calculator. Let me try to move that where you can see it a little bit. And I'm going to do 1 divided by 5,600 plus 1 divided by 680 plus 1 divided by 8,200. And I get 0 0.001111. Okay. So I'm not going to actually repunch, so it doesn't matter how many decimal places I write down. Um, so let's look at this then. You can think of this as a couple of ways. You can either think of it as cross, multiply, and divide, or you can think about the algebraic steps. We need to get RT on the top, so we multiply both sides by RT. Remember, I can do anything I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. This cancels. Now, to get RT by itself, I have to divide both sides by that decimal. And we have RT equals 1 divided by 0 0.0017711. All right, so when I want to do that in my calculator, I just do the inverse key and see mine says answer that takes the one it had before to the negative one because that's what it is and I get 564 so RT is equal to 564.6 ohms now please notice that the value we got for the resistance is smaller than the value of any resistor. Right? So in a parallel circuit um, of single resistors, they the equivalent resistance is going to be less than the smallest one. All right? Let's do another problem. This is one of the other practice problems you have to work on. And so you have 600, 300, 600, 300, and 200. All right, so let's write this as 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 600 plus 1 over 300 plus 1 over 600 plus 1 over 300 plus 1 over 200. All right? So same deal, gonna take my calculator and do 1 divided by 600 plus 1 divided by 300 plus 1 divided by 600 plus 1 divided by 300 plus 1 divided by 200. Okay, I get 1 over RT is equal to 0. 0, 1, 5. Now if we imagine this is over an imaginary 1, change colors here a little bit so you can see, we will 
cross multiply and divide so we get 1 is equal to RT times 0 0.015 now we do the divide RT is equal to 1 over 0 0.015 RT is finally equal to, just barely on the page there, 66.7 ohms. Okay. So I hope this has helped you a little bit with equivalent resistance and those practice problems.